Hi, um, Helene Gidley here. Uh, I thought we'd take us through a basic process for calculating your Scrum Team costs. We'll start right away with just a basic spreadsheet. So here, let me share my screen with you so you can follow along. The plan is that we're going to use some real data. So I've got a basic spreadsheet started here. I thought I'd start with Scrum Team roles, or costs and roles. Uh, let's start for, for a moment. Uh, let's start thinking of Scrum Master. It might be the first category that we'd come up with. Um, and let's see, somewhere along here, I'm going to want what their salary would be. Uh, let's start calculating a basic salary. So let's start with that first role. Um, I'm playing around in Glassdoor and I've just looked around. Um, you know, I entered Scrum Master here. I'm in the Ann Arbor, Michigan area. So let's just take a quick look for salaries for Scrum Masters. 90,906, that's the average that we're seeing in this area. So let's just plug that in, 90,906 for Scrum Master. Um, let's see, software engineer, that might be the next one. And let's do the same here for on Glassdoor, software engineer. And I'm just taking basic software engineer. I know there's a lot of different categories. I'm um, just getting the, the, the basic average salary. Uh, and that's 82,176. So let's plunk that in. And let's go through, let me just enter a few more roles uh, before I gather all the salaries. Uh, let's see, software ar architects, how about that? Uh, the UX designers are on teams. Business analysts are on teams. Uh, oh, QA, of course, let's not forget our QA. Software QA engineers and um, many teams still have project managers. So those are some of the basic roles that I can come, come up with that we tend to see on teams. I'm gonna go through and just calculate the rest out here on Glassdoor. So I'll just continue to fill those in. All right, so I've gone through and captured the salaries for the, the rest of these roles. And I've entered in a few additional things along the top uh, because part of what we're looking for is that cost per hour of our typical scrum team and uh, eventually what uh, multiple teams would cost me uh, both per hour and per sprint. So I've calculated, I've got cost per hour, number allocated, um, cost per day, cost per sprint. So let's, let's do the first thing here for the Scrum Master. <clears throat> the cost per hour is really, is going to be based on the number of hours per year. And that's um, a standard 2000 hours per year. So I'm gonna do this constant. So I'm gonna put a couple things in here as a constant. How many hours per year we have? And we know that's 2000. <clears throat> I didn't need that to be, I didn't need that to be bolded. All right, so let's do this first, right? Let's take the salary for our Scrum Master, uh, divided by the number of hours per year. So now I get their cost per hour, right? And I can do the same for, for all of these roles. Ah, and you notice my challenge. Okay, let's correct that. Dollar C, dollar 15, right? So that gets that, um, that cell reference as an absolute reference rather than one that changes with each, uh, each time you copy it through. All right, so now I have this for the cost per hour for each team member. On our scrum teams, how many do we ha tend to have allocated? Tend to have one scrum master. Uh, I think we're many teams I'm seeing up to five software engineers. Software architects, maybe you're lucky if you get a quarter of an architect. You, you may see about one uh, UX designer. Business analysts, I love the role, but this is what I tend to see. <clears throat> you get half of a business analyst. Um, if you're lucky, you'll have a whole software you know, QA engineer. Project manager, again, I've been one, and often you're on more than one team. So I start to, I get that sense of, you know, how many of those roles do I have on a team? 
All right, and so now we'd like to calculate the cost per hour for that role. So I'm going to start with, um, and that should be for the number of roles that we have on the team. So let's take that cost per hour multiplied by how many we have allocated. It's the same for the one scrum master, but you'll see that change for the, the software engineers, right? I have five software engineers. I have a quarter of a software architect. Um, and you know, half of a business analyst, half of a project manager. So I now start to see the cost per, per hour for those individual roles. Now I'd like to start looking at, as if I really want to get it down to the cost per sprint, I need to start looking at the cost per day. And my cost per day, again, that's going to be um, how many hours in a day, right? How many hours in a day? That's another constant. We're looking at um, eight hours in a day. So, right, so I should take my cost per hour, multiply it by the eight, but I want to make that as an absolute reference. It's putting the dollar sign in, cost per day for that role. And now I see the cost per day for the whole team. Now let's calculate out the cost for the sprint. So it's pretty much the same thing as I'm going to take my cost per day and let's consider it uh, being a two week sprint. So let's look at my sprint length in, in days. And let's say a two week sprint, that'd be 10 days, right? So now I'm taking my cost per day, multiplying it by the sprint. Again, I want to make sure that that's a fixed reference and copy that down for, for everyone. So now I've got the basics of what it's costing me both per day for one team and the and for the sprint for the, uh, for the for the one team for the two week sprint. Now let's start doing that sum, get that calculation of what it costs per team. All right. So here I am. I've got let's say for one team, let's say what's my cost per hour. For all of that, I've summed that total, and I want to do the same thing here. What is my cost per sprint? So my cost per hour for the team is $379 for one scrum team. For two, let's just do that. That's what our estimate was. If we've got so typically two scrum teams that we tend to see um, in many or organizations, all working to deliver one product or a set of features. Now you start to see the cost that you've got both per sprint for your two scrum teams at $60,000, almost 61,000 per sprint of two scrum teams delivering your features and product. Uh, at very reasonable numbers, and we're looking at, you know, how many the roles allocated. We're not looking at excessively large teams. We're trying to be realistic. And this is in the, the current Ann Arbor, Michigan area. Uh, for you, for your area, I would encourage checking out Glassdoor and getting the, the salaries for your area. But now you're getting to get that sense of the, ex, the extreme cost of of our teams for delivering our software products. We find the numbers here so interesting um, and, and so compelling that we really feel that the product owners get a lot of value for calculating these numbers, not the scrum masters, not the project managers. Uh, the, the, the people, especially project managers, this is the, the kind of things that they tend to like to do. But the product owners really get a lot of value out of understanding the cost of the teams that they're directing. On a, on a daily and a sprint by sprint basis so they can understand the value of what they're, they're developing and what they're delivering um, and understand the importance of getting the right information to the teams.